good morning engineers so today my discussion is on line of sight survey report in this video you will learn how to make a line of sight survey report i added a template in this video this template will helpful for you to understand the purpose of line of sight survey report so the first question is why we need this line of sight survey report and the answer is very simple that when we going to add some microwave or some sites in our domain then first we will start its survey in the survey we need the following things that our height and the longitude and latitude the location also we need uh, microwave height and uh, site in elevation and the site address after that we will check if there is any obstruction like tree or a building between two these two sites the uh, rigor from the site a and the site b they will check that if there is any obstructions then immediately they will change the direction of the microwave and make the survey report as per data and then anal analyze it with uh, some parameters and then we will reach some final conclusions that our line of sight survey is confirmed or not so let's start to make the los survey report site name coordinates and the site elevation that coordinates we will take with the help of gps and take the site elevation with respect to the sea level with the help of meter and next one is the distance between two sites if the distance is 7.34 kilometer or a 5 kilometer then we will add this in our report the distance between two sites and the next one is the microwave degree that i will take with the help of compass if the site a is at 60 degree and the site b is at 240 degree and uh, i will add this in my report the next step is the type of geographical area whether it's a mountainous area or urban desert coastal whatever if it's desert then i will add this in a report like the site is in desert and i will check the obstacles between two sites if it's free from obstacle like there is no tall building or a tree between these two sides then microwave line of sight visibility is possible the next one is the existing tower height for site a and site b suppose site a is at 45 meter and the site b is at 30 meter in length then the next one is to take the picture for site a like take the complete picture from top to bottom so the tower legs will be visible at the clear end and uh, next one line of sight from site a take picture from site a to site b and propose that microwave antenna height suppose that tower height is 41 at site a and 30 meter at site b then microwave must be installed with same height like 30 meter for site a and that 30 meter for site b the last step is to take the panoramic picture from 0 degree to 30 degree in a circumference of a circle like in a circle we will start from 0 to 360 0 to 90 90 to 180 180 to 270 and 270 to 360 degree in this panoramic picture we need to cover the whole area to check the population around or checking the obstacles like trees or a building that will affect our transmission so LOS survey is very simple 
and I hope so you understand this basic concept for microwave transmission survey report and if you have any question or a confusion related to it you can ask me in comments and don't forget to subscribe and share my channel and I hope so that my videos are very useful for the fresh telecommunication engineers and I appreciate your uh, time that you are watching my videos and asking question in comments next part will be uploaded soon so for now goodbye